COVID-19 presents all kinds of challenges for the independent agency owner. I think one of the things that's really obvious to all of us, though, especially those of us in commercial insurance, is that we're going to be facing a potential loss of revenue uh, for a variety of reasons, including people going out of business or having their sales and payrolls reduced. So it seems to me that what every agency owner has got to get laser focused on is maximizing revenue out of their current customers in their current uh, book of business. The other thing that's really important is improving retention. Both of those things will not only preserve revenue, but actually increase it. The last one is selling new policies into that existing book of business and potentially into, into new customers if you can. One of the uh, real opportunities in the COVID environment is to sell life insurance, which is not something that most uh, independent agency owners or, or certainly property and casualty producers give a lot of thought to. So first of all, you know, just to ask ourselves the question, you know, why is selling life insurance such a big deal right now? The first answer is that it's on everybody's mind. Almost everyone uh, knows that they have a risk of, of getting COVID, and for some people that risk may include death. While it's getting um, better and better in terms of the statistics on the death rate, still, uh, if you're an owner of a business, and more than likely you're in your 30s or 40s or 50s or older, and everyone knows that risk goes up with age. And so most business owners, and also most people in just in general, are nervous about their own mortality. And so they're wondering, do they have what it takes uh, from the standpoint of taking care of their family if something happens to them? And that means life insurance. So, you know, I remember years ago, uh, when I started my career, in fact, as a life insurance insurance agent, and people ask you what you did for a living, and you told them life insurance, well, they didn't want to talk to you anymore. Uh, it, you know, it was a little uncomfortable. They, no one wants to confront their own mortality, but I think today we're in an unusual situation from that standpoint when everyone now knows, more so than usual, that they're mortal. And being mortal and having responsibilities means we need to think about life insurance. So the first reason to think about life insurance is it's going to be a lot easier to sell right now than it typically is. You know, another reason to think about life insurance is if you've already got the account pretty well covered from a policy standpoint, life insurance is an additional sale that maybe you can make. We all know that uh, the more policies you sell to somebody, the more your retention goes up with that, that client. And in addition to new revenue, retention is the other key that you really need to focus on right now. So life insurance can help with revenue and retention. So how do you go about selling more life insurance? There's two or three obvious ways. The first is be sure it's on your website that you're, uh, you're making it easy for your personal insurance customers and your business customers to know, first of all, that you sell life insurance. Secondly, to begin the process of selling life insurance. That's the first thing. I think the second thing is you need to train your producers to ask every client if you know they have enough life insurance. Would you like to talk about life insurance? Would you like us to maybe uh, quote life insurance for you? Um, you've got to train your producers. There's a lot of great uh, ways you can do that. You can do that with scripts. You can teach your customer service people to ask every client when they're doing renewal if you can quote life insurance for them. Remember that in a time in which your agency may be facing reductions in commissions due to lower premiums or perhaps premiums going away, that life insurance pays really big premium, uh, really big commissions because you get a big first year uh, commission in life insurance sales, and that can go a long way towards taking care of some of those drops that you may otherwise experience. Um, you know, asking questions like, or making the making comments like, you know, we've covered uh, your employees in the event they get hurt with workers' compensation, uh, but what happens if they pass away? You know, those are kinds of questions that you can ask to prompt the conversation. Again, I think people are more willing to have that conversation than they probably have been willing uh, to have it in, in many, many years. So, um, you know, I, I think the other thing we have to think about is premium affordability. This is a time in which everyone's trying to reduce their expenses. Um, 
and uh, cut them to the bone because they don't know what the future of their income is. And so when you're asking somebody to buy a new policy, you have to face the reality that it's a budget concern. Well, first of all, uh, that means that we probably want to lead with something like term insurance. Another thing we want to think about, though, is if we've been able to reduce this year's premiums through a marketing effort and we've saved a little bit of money, rather than just giving all that back, this is the time to say, hey, here's a way you could afford some more life insurance for your family uh, because of the premiums that we've just saved. So um, anyway, just to summarize, make it clear on your website that you're in the life insurance business. Ask every client if you could talk to them about life insurance. Be straightforward about it and uh, do your best to offer solutions. You know, another thing is to, uh, for, for, especially in the commercial uh, space, um, is, to, is to think about bringing in experts and most life insurance carriers and certainly all life insurance brokerage operations have people who are highly skilled at developing large cases for in more complex cases for business clients. This is a great time uh, to be having those conversations because if you're in business and you're making a profit, even in a reduced profit in the time of the coronavirus, one of the problems you have right now is you can't make any money on your money. Uh, interest rates are as low as they've been in my lifetime, and they're not going back up for a number of years. There are some life insurance products that can actually help people generate a substantial amount of money on the life insurance policy itself. I'm not an expert in this area. You probably aren't either, but it's worth looking for one. I've had presentations made that are really impressive in terms of the internal rates of return that can be generated in a whole life policy, something I hadn't really thought about before. Those policies can get to be fairly significant from a premium size. They help the uh, client not only protect their life uh, insurance needs issue, but also can provide a way to invest money at a rate higher than they can get in a bank or perhaps other safe investments. The investment itself is protected by life insurance. There are experts who can help you and those uh, premiums can be very substantial, as can be the commissions. This is a time to really think about adding that to your product mix. So if I could just summarize what I said, make it easy for people to buy life insurance for you. Have it on your website. Ask all of your clients. Even if they don't purchase, they'll appreciate the fact that you have brought up something that's probably been on their minds and asked whether or not you can be helpful. That's great for the relationship. If you're successful and you sell a new life insurance policy for a client, you've done two things. One is you've increased your retention rate undoubtedly, and the second is you've increased your income at a time when you really need that. The third point to remember is there's experts out there who can help you do this if you're willing. Life insurance is a great opportunity. It's a great silver lining in a time of COVID. I'm talking to independent agency owners about this all the time. If you'd like to have a more personalized conversation, click on the button or the link in the description and we'll make that happen. You can also reach out to me at tonycaldwell.net slash contact.